Ninth race is the 2003 Breeders' Crown Open Trot Final. Here they come. They are off and trotting, and away well down tighter to the inside goes HP Pog. Fool's Goal decides to sprint on. Abbey Road C, one of the three best away. There goes Cameron Hall, asked to go to the top from out in the nine hole. Five trotters back is St. John's Boy. Rotation looks for a tuck in from six. Monty Hall is seventh away. Eighth on the outside for Victory Cruise, then Victory Sam. As they move into the first turn, Oakley Julian was tenth on the outside. HP Pog, Cameron Hall is off stride. Uh, that's Cameron Hall making the break when parked by H.P. Pock. The quarter was 26 seconds flat, and H.P. Pock is the leader by two into the Woodbine backstretch. Now Fool's goal is going to take his shot. Moisea wheels him to the outside. Abbey Road C tucked into the pocket. Cameron Hall landed back in fourth. That's rotation up on the move into the top five and surging towards the leaders. Victory Sam is on the move ahead of St. John's Boy. Oakley Julian, Monty Hall. A second quarter break has taken Victory Cruz out of it. 56 seconds was the half. And Fool's goal makes the lead. Rotation is matching strides. H.P. Pock now back in third. Victory Sam caught fourth on the outside. Abbey Road C not far away in there from fifth Oakley Julian is closer again from sixth on the outside then it's back to Cameron Hall Monty Hall hem to the inside ninth with St. John's boy and the distance trailer victory Cruz at the top of the stretch fool's gold trying to get away on rotation 124 and 1 28 and 1 in the third and Jack Moiseev is getting busy early in the stretch final eighth of the 2003 Breeders Crown final Moiseev is trying to stretch out fool's goal and he's got four on the field now. Victory Sam is out in the outside to pick up second. Monty Hall the far outside. It belongs to Fool's Goal. Fool's Goal, nobody's fool. Much the best to capture the Breeders' Crown. Over a long shot, 99 to 1, Victory Sam. Then Abbey Road C made a late bid, 150, 2 and 4. Outstanding again for Fool's Goal. Back-to-back -back Breeders Crown open wins for Fool's Gold Jack, the first horse to ever do it. He's quite an animal. Yeah, he just come back this year. He's just getting good like he was uh, at the end of last year. He's getting better now than he was in the beginning. Talk about the trip in the early going. A, whore, a lot of horses busting off the gate with early speed. You seem calm, cool, collected early. Yeah, I just thought there'd be like three, four busting out there like they were, and uh, it's going to just play it by ear. Whoever made the front and try to make a move down the backside. And, uh, when you made it. your move to the front, Trevor Ritchie came after you, and he came after you tough with rotation. Was it an easy decision to leave him out? Eh, you know, my horse is best on front, and once I got there, I just made my mind up to stay there. Top of the stretch, he just pounded them. Yeah, I just asked him, you know, kept him rolling, and I asked him a little bit, and he opened up five, and uh, he just kept trotting right to the wire. I was very happy with him. Listen, Jack, uh, possibility of seeing Fool's Gold come back another season to do it again? Yeah, yeah he just started racing like the past three, four years, so I, I got faith in him. I think he could do it. Fool's Gold, Jack Moisey of Jim Doherty put it all together here tonight. Congratulations on the win. Thank you very much. Fool's Gold, back-to-back Breeders' Crown trophies for the son of Armbro Gold, who improves his bankroll, already coming in a $2.3 million winner at another half million. He's quickly closing in on the $3 million mark. To the Woodbine Infield Winner's Circle, we welcome the 2003 Breeders' Crown. Open try champion Fool's Gold. Armbro Goal, eight-year-old Big Elding from Contestique. Owned by his breeders, Bruce McKelvin and Ron Allen of Pemberton and Southampton, New Jersey. Trained by Canada's Jim Doherty, another of the great maritime imports and exports to the harness racing world. Inductee this year to the Goshen, New York Harness Racing Hall of Fame and Museum, Jim Doherty. And the winning drive to Jack Moisea. Fool's Goal is also the defending champion of the Maple Leaf Trot, which will be contested in just a couple of weeks out at Mohawk Racetrack. In winning the Breeders' Crown, he makes it his second in nine this year, pushing his life's bankroll to over $2.8 million. Making the winner's circle presentation of the Breeders' Crown prestigious trophy is Mrs. Kitty Sauter of Walnut Hall Farm Limited.